Hey gang, welcome back to Pardee Shop Shenanigans. I'm Bob, here's my shop. What is today's shenanigan? Today I wanna to take a look at some uh, projects that are in process, uh, do a quick little recap on both of those. We'll take a walk over into the auxiliary shop. Makes me sound important if I say the word auxiliary, right? Uh, to take a look at a project I've not even mentioned to date. And then on our way back, we'll swing by and we'll take a little gander at Papa Smurf, my 1989 Jeep Comanche that I bought probably five years ago. It was my first Jeep Comanche. It was a two-wheel drive when I bought it. It is now a four-wheel drive. It's my little baby. Stick around. We'll have some fun. We started this whole gig at Party Shop Shenanigans uh, with a 1962 Chevy C20 pickup, affectionately referred to as Stanley. My boys and I, years ago, uh, started naming all of our cars for no good reason other than that's just what guys do, right? So um, this 1962 C20 is a two-wheel drive. It's got a powers service bed on it. I dig the lines. Uh, came out of central Washington, actually probably more like West Central Washington. A uh, lot of rust, a lot of project, a lot of work, but Stanley's going to be fun. And then the next project we worked on was my son's 1987 G20 Chevy van. It is actually in Moab now with him because that's what he's living in part-time. We did some RV conversion. You can check that out on the channel as well. Right now we've been working on Mickey another 1989 Jeep Comanche. It's a two-wheel drive. It's going to remain a two-wheel drive. Had some pleasant surprises in terms of the condition of the engine um, and the potential that we have with that. And then in the wings, in that auxiliary shop that I mentioned earlier, I have a 1988 Comanche. It's a four-wheel drive that someone has already done some work to. It's missing a bed, some other things. But let's do a walk around, get you caught up. Like your feedback on each of these projects, maybe help me decide which way to go with them. Come on, let's go. Oh, wait, before we go too far, I got this new fancy gyroscope. We're going to try this out for a walkabout, see if I cannot make you dizzy. See if this helps. Wish me luck. Okay, let's see how this new whirly gig works. Now, you'll notice... There's nothing in the shop. Amazing. <laughs> it won't be that way for long. The wife will be back soon. I got to change oil. Hey, don't forget about our buddy Stanley here. This is what kind of started it all with my little YouTube playing. 1962 Chevy C20. Uh, came off of, hope I say it right. I think it's Lewis McCord Air Force Base. That doesn't sound right. Um, Air Force Base up in Tacoma, Washington. I looked up the VIN on it, and this was actually a chassis build truck originally. And I believe that the story of it being a Air Force based vehicle for most of his life is true. Um, the powers service bed is what really got my attention. I just, I dig the lines, you know, they're not, it's not just boxy. It's got some angle and a little bit of character to it. Um, it's a rust bucket. You got a lot of work to do, no doubt about that. It's still got the top on the service bed up here, which is cool. Little headache rack and actually space for, um, I could build another to put on here. I think right now with Stanley, as we've nicknamed it, is uh, we just want to get it running and road worthy. I've had it, I've got it running actually. Um, she's a smoker for sure. Um, but definitely smells like an old Chevy as soon as you open the door on a hot day as well. But that's what we're looking at. Gosh, all kinds of buttons on this little gyroscope, aren't there? Seat not in horrible condition. Um, the colors are right. I don't know if it's original. Um, someone has an old repair on here is fiberglass repair, typical rust spot. And you can see here that the the, the sills, the rocker panels are bad. Um, bottom of the door is bad. Fender is bad. Um, the roof, well, the roof is bad. Uh, Stanley's just generally bad. Bad to the bone, that is. <laughs> and then we've got Mickey that we've been working on most recently. This is a 1989 
Jeep Comanche. This is the same year as uh, my first Comanche. Um, my first Comanche was also uh, two-wheel drive when I first bought it, and I converted it to four-wheel drive. This one, we're going to keep two-wheel drive. It's got the 2.5 liter four-cylinder in it. Uh, just last week, did some work on hinges. That's why I've got the fender off. Um, limiting strap was gone. Door was overextended. Hinges were boogered up. Um, I haven't replaced the outside button yet here, but um, she's a fairly clean little Comanche, little sport truck. Got 222,000 miles on the clock. Uh, again, the five speed, the BA10, it's not the nice AX15, but um, seems to shift nice and it's quiet. Um, got uh, repairs to do on this post. I've got a lot more to repairs to do up under here. Put a limiting strap in, fix the door, um, fix uh, back in here with a limiting strap. Uh, mounts is tore out. Um, it's just gonna be a fun project, but the door at least closes without having to shove it through to the other side now, even if it's not right where we want it. Let's get between these two girls and see if I can give you the other side view. There you have it. I don't fall down the hill. There we go. That's Mickey. Gonna be a fun little pickup. I might lower it just a couple inches, not much, but just enough to give it a stance. And then uh, Stanley, you know, I'm not normally a fan of lowering full-size pickups, but I think Stanley would look tough. I uh, lowered the front end about four inches, back in maybe another two or three inches, nestle them big tires up into that wheel well. What do you think? I think that'd be pretty tough looking. <laughs> Me and my big plans. All right. Well, let's uh, take a walk over there into that blue shop in the background. I'll show you another project waiting in the wings. So what do I have peeking out the door of this shop? <laughs> well, sure, there's a little geo tracker. That's a friend of mine. So I'm going to put a new top on it. Just found the uh, hardware that comes up over the top. It was kind of hard to find. But here's an 88 Comanche. Uh, I don't have a bed. It does have engine transfer case transmission. It's the BA10 five speed, which is not a super popular uh, transmission. But you know, if you drive them right, they'll hold up. They're not great for crawling necessarily or stressing out too big. Uh, the hood latch is broken or the cable is broken, so I can't open it up for you right now. It's got the four cylinder, I'm sorry, the four liter six cylinder Renix in there. Um, Cab's in really nice condition. Um, no rod under here. Uh, the sills are in good shape. Definitely have some floor rot issues. Uh, pretty common. And someone's put quite a lift on it already. So a little bit ahead of the game. It does have the high pinion uh, Dana 30 in it. They're not real heavy duty, but might be building this one for my son. Um, you might look back on some earlier episodes. We worked on that 1987 G20 Chevy van, made it RV worthy. And uh, huh, coincidentally, about the same color as this. We'll probably build a flatbed on here. Not sure I want to spend the money for a uh, Comanche bed if I could find one. Although if someone here in Northwestern Oregon wants to cut me a good deal for a short bed, I'd be very happy with that. Um, not sure what's going on here. Someone thought they were going to be pretty serious and put double shocks on here. Looks like either they didn't finish the job or had a different rear end under it at some point. I'm really not sure. But I've got good bones to work with. Interior is not in terrible shape. Sorry for the glare. It's kind of a pointless video when you can't see what's going on. Um, we are missing no headliner. Uh, not a big deal. And then uh, aftermarket slider that's got a broken pane in it. Eh, not a big deal. Overall, seat's not in terrible shape. Uh, again, I mentioned I know that I've got some floorboard issues, but let's see if I can get in here so you can see this odometer. How's that? 127,371 miles on this little bad boy. And uh, it's going to be a fun project. But that doesn't happen till 
I get a few other things done. So there you have it. Upcoming project tucked away here. Gonna have to come up with a name for it. We name everything. Nothing's really stood out yet. So uh, if you got some ideas, throw in the comments. And just so you know, yes, I really do finish projects. This was my first Comanche. 1989. It was a two-wheel drive when I bought it, much like Mickey. Um, I've been through it, oh, I won't say head to toe, maybe from belly button to toe. It's got all new running gear, fresh transfer case. I'm running uh, AW4 uh, automatic in it. Uh, it wasn't original this truck, it was a four-wheel drive transmission. Um, four liter, six cylinder, Got 200 and about 58,000 miles on it. I keep it covered this much, just uh, try to keep the what weather I can out of it. Bench seat pickup. Again, this was a two-wheel drive that I converted. Um, pretty clean little pickup. And then I've got uh, I've got this uh, REM2. Um, check it out at Nick and Time. Uh, Nick and Time videos, I think it's called. Um, this dude has reversed engineered the computer on here to create this little tool for diagnostics, which is amazingly effective. I'll, uh, I'll put a link down here in the bottom for Nick and Time Productions or Nick and Time Video. I don't remember, but check him out. Um, got a original, uh, three, whoops, get back up here. Three piece, uh, slider. And, uh, yeah, this, this. My boys and I named this Papa Smurf. So, you know, in, in keeping with every vehicle having a name, there's Papa Smurf. This topper that I have on here, I bought from a fella in uh, Salem. I've been super happy with it. It's kind of the old man topper because, you know, you pull the tailgate off, that's back in the shop. But uh, really clean, good shape. I need to put some new screens on it. Definitely camp in this. And as you can see, the bed's in really nice shape here. I'm trying to figure out my new whirly gig. And um, now the story I got from the guy I bought this is that this topper was actually custom built. He bought it from a father and son duo who were working on the Comanche he had. And uh, that's all I know about it, but it fits the truck perfectly. I mean, I, I can believe that it was custom built just because I haven't seen this style topper anywhere else for a Comanche. So, yes, I really do finish projects. Papa Smurf, see you later. Well, that's going to button things up for today's little walk around on projects in the shop. Uh, remember, hit the subscribe button. Tell a friend or 10, 15, 12 three, if that's as many as you have. And uh, hit the like button also. I'd love to get some comments. Um, tell me what you think about Stanley. Maybe some thoughts on Mickey. And uh, how about that unnamed MJ that's out in the auxiliary shop? Throw some names at me as well. Don't forget to hit the notifications button so you know when I post a new video. Go out and make somebody smile. You both deserve it. Bob out.